when I first heard about it at school, I was just so interested. NASA, you know, space flight, wow. Meet the rocket scientists of tomorrow, known here as the Peace Team. Polymer Erosion and Contamination Experiment. It's a team of six teenage girls from Hathaway Brown School that work every Friday with NASA Glenn researchers on experiments for the International Space Station. We have a bunch of different experiments that are all trying to test um, polymers commonly used on spacecraft. Comparing the erosion yield, which is how fast these samples er erode in like up in space. So this is called the Struts Peace Polymers Experiment. Today the teens are analyzing polymer samples, which recently returned to Earth on the space shuttle. Can we turn the lights off? So the sample is, what is the sample? It's two mil PE. Oh, yeah. This is the third set of experiments, which have involved 22 Hathaway Brown students over the past 12 years. This coming Monday, the space shuttle Atlantis will launch with even more of their research. Two big suitcase-like containers of experiments that will be put outside space station and exposed to the space environment for approximately a year and then it will be brought back down for post-flight analysis. I know that Karen and I won't be here when um, they come back down, but it's still so cool that, to think that like something that I worked with is now in outer space. It's going to leave the planet altogether, so that's really cool. <laughs> it's an experience that's having a huge impact on these young ladies. It just opens my eyes up to all the possibilities of science. I definitely like the sciences, so I'm thinking about actually going into pre-med. Like the most valuable experience of my life, so I really, really enjoyed it. And that's fuel to the fires for the real rocket scientists. Many of the girls go on in the science and engineering fields, and it makes you real proud to see that. On your side in Cleveland, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5.